being your first feature and you have such a, a stellar cast, talk about some of the, I guess, the pressures that came along with this. Well, uh, pressures. Well, there was a time pressure. That was pretty intense. It was a 24-day schedule. And, um, you're trying to maximize the resources and time so that you can give the actors the time they need to to do what they do. So that was that was tough. Um, it was a 24 day. Yeah. And we were also limited to, you know, really? uh, 11, 12 hour shoot days, which is pretty. Which is a, just an outright. And we work with babies. And we work with babies. That's just a ball, but. Yeah. That's just an outright lie. What? It's the 11, 12 hour day. <laughs> How long were the days? They were just straight up 12 hours. Yeah. What, what constrained you guys to? The past 12 hours, I got spanked. Just <laughs> him or just in general? Oh, just by the universe. Spanked by the universe. Some dresses are like it. Yeah. Sounds like a country song. Spanked by the universe. Yeah, it was universe. just about trying to create an atmosphere where everybody could do their best work. How is it that uh, you're able to recreate the period so convincingly on such a limited budget and with such a limited amount of time? Well, we had a good producer and a good production designer, and, and um, I had a little experience with a short film I'd made trying, trying to do the period south on a budget. Um, but everybody just kind of threw together. Who, who was the production designer? Who was it? Yeah. Jeffrey Kirk. Englishman, right? Yeah, our, we, our production designer did a, another couple little movies called um, the right stuff and and oh, the is an Englishman. We were we were very lucky we had Chef Kirkland, he's a big deal. He's great. Yeah. That's incredible. We had a great crew. And you had a great cinematographer too. Yeah, yeah good, guy, good guy. Don't mention though, because none of us like David <laughs> David Boyd, he and I would come up together. I was a cinematographer for a while. He worked as my camera. What's his name? Speak spoke glowingly of both of you. Who did? Owen Royce. Oh yeah, Owen's a great guy. Wonderful guy. Uh, yeah, and uh, Julie Weiss, our costume designer. Oh, she's the best. I saw her and went to an apartment in California. She likes personalized museum. It's wonderful. She's a she's, really she's talented. Interesting woman. She did Frida. Very she did Frida. Talented. She did American Beauty. She did Searching oh, for did Bobby Fish. Did the Elephant Man. <coughs> Which elephant man? The one with the... The, the uh, one that made it in a movie. The, um... There's only one, isn't it? John Hurt. I think it's... David Lynch? Yeah, the David yeah. Lynch one, yeah. Yeah, we were fortunate to have her. You, you approached and got her right away. Yeah, that was her first Great. choice. What's that? She was she her was first nice choice. And, uh, Do you get that real cool vest thing that she got? That really neat... The what? That double-breasted vest thing? Do you oh, yeah. have to keep like any of your costumes or stuff after you get done? Like, do you get to pick and choose any of this? If you're stuff? faster than they are, you can get. <laughs> you just gotta snatch it up and throw it in the yeah, van. You gotta, you gotta actually lose it on the last day of shoot. Oh. <laughs> if they rented it, you don't get. Oh right. If he you lose some, it, it's yours. Really, I don't know where. I just he had some really cool stuff. <laughs> what about y'all as, as actors? Um, did y'all have any? I guess. Um, Wait a minute. Are we on TV? No. Filming him? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> What are those? Uh, this is like a, a little HD cam, it's super cheap, and you can buy all this stuff. And oh, but you're videoing it. Yeah. Is that okay? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do, do you guys have any fears taking a chance on a first-time director? Well, it's happened before, right? Yeah. We've made mistakes before. Sure. <laughs> first-time well, directors can be better than 50 times directors. So. Yeah. Yeah. I worked with a director once. One of the old school guys, he said, when I say action, tense up, God damn it. You <laughs> guys say that to Joe Montana in the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes what you don't know about somebody is more exciting than what you know about somebody else in terms of that's a nice Well, that's pretty <laughs> diplomatic. I like that. Well, it was, it was sure. exciting. You were passionate yeah. about it. You hung in there. You got all of us. Well, it was a journey, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so what, yeah. individually, what hooked each of you guys into getting on board? Well, it was a good story. Good story? Yeah, very unique. It wasn't like a remake, like they're doing so many remakes. Maybe they'll do a remake of this someday. Hey, they're doing that 
soccer film you did. What? Re they're remaking that soccer movie you made. No, they're, they're remaking True Grit. Oh, I heard that. That's in yeah. town. I heard that. It's just a rumor. What do you mean? They started? Not, not in town yet. But New Mexico. They're, they're still in New Mexico. They're coming up to Granger. Where? They're making that in Granger. That's yes, ma'am. Grandparents. I guess those two guys get anybody they want. Who are those two guys? Oh, yeah, that's his name. Granger. I guess. Well, they make some good stuff. Huh? They make good things. Do they? I guess they do. Yeah. I, I like that divorce movie they made. Huh? The divorce movie they made with George Clooney was the, the divorce movie. Intolerable cruelty. cruelty. That was funny. I hated it. It had some neat stuff in it. I love the movie where they did uh, Brother, Brother Where Art Thou. You didn't like that? Didn't oh, like God. That? Oh, man. You're from Texas and you like that? <laughs> what a total <laughs> condescension. Well, well, Patronation of the it. South. Well, it was funny. Oh, yeah, but yeah, that's where they get out of it. The only good thing about that was the music. Beautiful music. Music, oh, great. Uh, music was wonderful. Uh, those guys, those it's the you Odyssey. Know, it was better than And then that guy in, 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 in No Country for Old Man going around with that big gun in Texas with a hit, you know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was better than the ads. The ads were better. It was a better movie than the ads. I, got, I never wanted to see because I thought the ads were talented. I mean, they get anything they it want much done. Better. It was really, I enjoyed it. Now they're doing True Grit, yeah, again. In Granger. In Granger. They're, they're building yeah. a set right now. They get all these guys to be in it, they're, you know, big name, you know. Do you well, know who's playing all being cowboys and Indians now. <laughs> Do you know who's playing your old role? I think Barry Pepper, I heard. I, I know Josh Bowles is a friend of mine. He's doing another one. Matt Damon's in it. He's a friend of mine. I'd like to do something. Why don't you be in? <laughs> I mean, get some of your old carts, that'd be great. The remake uh, of Apocalypse Now. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon they're going to be making remakes of everything. Yeah. <clears throat> so, same question for y'all. What was your hook? What got you in? <clears throat> um, well, I was intrigued that Bobby was going to do it. And then this guy was like this shadowy figure that was kind of out in the Netherland. But, and the story, it was weird. It was like he said, it was, there was, I'd never read anything Pretty unique. like it. And they were very persistent. Quite unique. Yeah. And it just kept getting, the script just kept getting better and better. Yeah. It's just the rewrites kept getting, just Yeah. Angry. What did Billy, Billy Bob Thornton say he wanted to direct a movie one time and somebody, no New York actors would be allowed below the nation. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's a yeah. to that. There's something to that, but you know, it's it's kind of a southern. It could be a northern tale too, I guess. But it's kind of a southern it's, tale. Yeah, right? it's folksy. Yeah. Well, it's based on a folk tale, right? Like a folk. Yeah, and then like a folklore tale. Charlie it's Mitchell came in from right. right. the folk tale. Put the finishing folk touches on the script, then it kind of had heart. Kingston, yeah, Tennessee, in 1936, showed up for this man's funeral. Charlie, um, while he's still alive, and we used that as sort of our leading yeah. off point for our film. Oh wow, it's just very unique. I mean. I love the character, and these guys, you know, they probably love their characters, you know. I, I loved your character. It fit into this unique story. I get low. I still don't know what get low really means. Doesn't that mean? Down to business. Huh? Oh, down I thought business. it meant going underground. I did too. Get like in the box. Get down to business. I thought it was like a double. To me, it's southern it means religious life. Getting, 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 getting down before it? God. Okay. What does it mean? Oh. It's like a, apparently it's a southern sort of religious slang for getting down before Jesus or getting down before God. Yeah, get a little bit Jesus. Yeah, like humble yourself. Oh, humble yourself. I did. Humble yourself. <laughs> <laughs> get low. Yeah. Get low. I took it more literally. <laughs> Maybe that's the way some people say he passed. He got low. What do some of these old preachers say, or people not just say they're grateful that they have one more day in their life above the ground. There you so go. this may be getting You're going to get low. Yeah. What was your hook? And also, the, the secondary question I had, was that your real mustache? And I know that's a silly question, but you have that. It was important. It was important. For the Lord is. You know, that was my own mustache, I think. <laughs> I don't remember. It just looked, because I know that you did it for Ed Wood, too, that little pencil thin. Yeah, no, that was my mustache. Um, have you thought about just keeping that for a time? I've never seen I do. Before. I mean, basically, you... I'm not as organized as these two professionals, but I, you know, for me, it's a question of not shaving. Right. Obviously, it's more than a career choice. 
And then uh, you just sort of think, well, what if I were different than what I think I am? But how, how, uh, how I got hooked on this, I, I read the script, I thought the script was good, and then uh, I got a nice letter from Dean, a nice letter from Aaron. I talked to Dean on the phone. I wrote you a letter too. I didn't get a letter. Yeah, and Bob wrote me a letter too. You when you all like, say letter, you mean like no, we were giving like a yeah, sent letter Bill. in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Bill, he wrote it. Dear Bill, not not an email. Or You're gonna be getting a lot of letters to to <laughs> just to get a letter. I don't ask. All right. But then, uh, and then they sent along this uh, this little film that he's, he kind of you know throws away, but he he did win an Academy Award. For the Two song. Soldiers, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, I saw it. I was like, oh crap, it's good. <laughs> now I gotta work. Now, now I gotta work. Did golf have anything to do with it? No, golf didn't have anything to do with because it. Because you I, play, David plays, uh, Lucas plays. Well, that just was a nice kind of yeah. thing to do on the side. We, I mean, the hours were pretty long. We didn't get a lot of golf in. But although, <laughs> but you know, Atlanta, Atlanta reminds me of Dallas. I much prefer Dallas, but it kind of reminds me of an East Coast Dallas. Well, Atlanta in the winter is. What? It was cold. It wasn't like what you. It wasn't well, like. Uh, in. I think didn't Sherman burn Atlanta and then they didn't. Well, really he didn't burn enough. It. it was they too really, damn cold. They should have moved <laughs> further south. <laughs> 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 it was freezing. I like it after that. He burned a lot. Yeah. But it was cold there. I don't know. Where, where are we going? But nice. Yeah, where are you going with this? <laughs> where are we going with this? Where, where, where it was your, your question. question. It started, your it started as mustache and then hook. And then yeah, I, can ask I had the mustache. Beard. I had... Uh, My own mustache, but somebody else's beard. Well, I asked for a job where I could wear Mr. Mr. Duvall's old mustache. I got it. What are you eating again? Oh, huh? Why, how come you didn't bring in the, the uh, barbecue? Where's your barbecue? Huh? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I asked for barbecue, and here's what I got. I had a question for uh, Mr. Duvall. With this character having, you know, him being a local folktale, pretty much, all these, all these rumors and these crazy stories about him, uh, his past for the community around him is really indefinite. Uh, but I'm wondering if you, in order to approach the role, uh, filled in those gaps and made a history, like a full history for your character going into the film. What you mean, make, make, filled it in um, in, in, re in the respect that we, we see him in the twilight of his life, and there are rumors around the community as to his past, but up to a certain point in the film, we don't really know what his past yeah, is. There's a lot of rumors. Yeah. The way I feel, he he, if he didn't live in the woods, he could have done a lot of things. He could have been a sheriff, he could have been a school teacher, he could have been a merchant marine guy, he could have been a justice, Blacksmith. justice of the peace. He's done a lot of things. He's not a dumb guy. Not like a recluse that's like retarded or something. He's had a choice. You know. What makes somebody do that? I don't know. It's pretty heavy. Did you think about how he occupied himself in his years of yeah, isolation? He's a good wood craftsman. He hunted. He, he go into town periodically. Yeah. Train that mule to do things. That, that mule could do a lot of things. The real mule could do a lot of things. The champion mule in America, you think, would come from Georgia or Texas. Came from Virginia, 20 miles from where I live. <laughs> Great mule, Gracie. She could do anything. Pray, go to the mailbox, bring you a letter, play the piano. We didn't, we did, we could do that in the movie, but, but you know, they got a, the reason they got the, this mule, because mules don't rear. Oh, they don't? No, but he could make this one. Why don't they rear? You learn something no, new not, every day. They're not into rearing. The true story about a mule, one time, you probably heard the hunting party in Arizona about six years ago. The hunting in that mountain lion was tracking their dogs. And about one o'clock in the afternoon, it made its move. The lead rider was on a mule. The mule threw the guy and went over and killed the mountain lion. Picked it up, shook it, kicked it. The mule killed the mountain lion. <laughs> Amazing. So they're small, you know, and they're good to pick with sheep. Coyotes and things to keep, you know. So she was a smart. Did he eat the rider first? What? Did the lion eat the rider after no, he threw no, him off? Then the he killed him. After the dog. Oh. Why didn't we get that meal? You, you wouldn't think of it. You know, <laughs> Did you have a lion problem? Pretty, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> the mule was like a carrot. Then it was not so phenomenal. But, you know, it was like. So, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't about mules, but that's a great yeah. story. <laughs> Filled it in, you know. It was, it was such a wonderful character. He just 
filled it in as you went along, I guess. And did y'all have any creative control over the development of your roles, or did, Aaron, did you have a vision that you wanted to see? It is, what a question that is. <laughs> <laughs> The, the script, <laughs> there were two writers. There was the original writer, and uh, then I did a little work on it in between the second writer, whose name is Charlie Mitchell. And it's Charlie's Mitchell's draft we shot. Charlie's from, uh, from Alabama, and you know he's kind of steeped in the South. Um, kind of like a, one of your, your warm uncle from South, down South. And, and he's a really uh, beautiful writer. And came in and kind of gave it the voice that it ended up having. And, um, but what he's saying is, the answer is yes, we did have some control over our roles. Brought your own little yes, your own personality out. Yes, no, I mean, did. you know, you, you get the script, <laughs> you, you have the script, but then you interpret it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, then we, yeah. Yeah, we went, we went and saw Bobby. Charlie and I went to see Bobby to talk to him about what Bobby Twice wanted to do. Back to Virginia. They didn't go to see her, but they came to see her. You were already on. And then we, we had a four-hour chat about the script. That's in right. The office. We just went through it page by page and talked. So. I got a letter. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a visit, you got a letter. I had a question for you. As a producer, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm working on being a producer later, and I, I know it has a lot to do with enabling people to achieve their vision. Um, how, how did you go about doing that in your own, in your own way? What is your, what is your game plan there when you say, wake up in the morning, like, I'm gonna produce this? <laughs> well, I mean, this, this was a really, um, this was a really good test. Um, started nearly a decade ago when I got the script, and it really uh, sort of tests your, you know, your, your belief and passion in the project and the, and the, and the vision yourself, because you're gonna take a lot of hits especially with a, you know, with a period of drama and with a cast, and uh, uh, it wasn't easy, you know, but, uh, you know, I just kept on going back to the feeling that I had when I first read it, and, uh, you know, thematically it really spoke to me, uh, and then along the way I started picking up other believers, uh, and Aaron, you know, Aaron had only done a short Kind, 
just not, it was, I think a lot of times pop producers can be kind of a negative force, you sure. know, because they're up against so much right. that they're, he never lost his cool. He was up against so much, but you have the appropriate temperament. Thank you. But for about two years, years, it was lost, though, wasn't it? It was like... He never lost No, you didn't, never. but I mean, I figured that's it. So I would see him in the palm with his father. I said, oh, yeah, there's Dean, okay. And we talk about whatever. It was, it was never considered that it was going to be done. It was yeah. like it, it wasn't coming together, really. Then all of a sudden, it did. A year ago... December. We, yeah, no, we had to search far and wide. Year ago, December. The first money that came in, that was another thing that, you know, a lot of directors, um, first time directors, you know, they just expect all these things to happen on their own. Aaron, in many ways, you know, took on almost a producerial um, position, and, you know, we each picked up, you know, each other's, you know, spirits, you know. As, as, I don't think there was a day. Now. I don't think there was a day, to be honest with you, where didn't do something, try something. Yeah. A phone call or, you know, or But that was out of the loop for like yeah, yeah. a couple yeah. of years because I didn't think it was going to get done. Yeah. How long was it before, like when you guys first got your letters in the mail before you guys actually started shooting? What kind of time period was that? Because you're saying eight years of production. Was that like, I got a letter and like two years later it started or how did that work? No, Bill, uh, I mean, Bobby was there, you know, the whole time, pretty much the whole time. Sissy, we always wanted we had this meeting, but years must have passed after years that. Passed. Like four, like three, four years. Kind of like Lucas, Lucas too, but then Lucas didn't want to do it. Whoa, hey, hi. No, Lucas, Lucas was <laughs> like right. 12th hour, 11, you know, hour or so. Yeah, Lucas had something else in that, or you were thinking of other people besides Lucas? Yeah, we started in the direction of casting somebody. We wanted authenticity, so we started casting locally to try and find a young man yeah. who, and then all of a sudden, the name Lucas Black came up, and we all went, wow. That's great. What but but then he great. didn't want to do it for a while. No, I, th I don't he think didn't. he ever. No, I think he. No. The, he, he, he just wanted to, a letter. No, you had to wait for him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. I, no, there was something there about he wasn't sure. And you looked elsewhere, kind of. And then, well, it, came back to, then it came back to him. <clears throat> well, he was always a name we, we liked, but yeah. he's, he's not a. He's not a Hollywood kid, you know, he doesn't, um, you know, he's, he's interested in movies, but, you know, he doesn't have to do them. You know, he's got a place. In, he was so you know, obvious for it. He's got he a was, place in He was Missouri. almost over, he was so obviously right for it to begin with. They said, well, you know, it's like, almost too, I mean, you know. Perfect. When I met him, I went to her, oh, Lucas Black, oh, great, Lucas Black. But I knew him as a child actor. I didn't know him, but I was aware of his earliest work. And then I was at the gym when I got to the location. I was working out and some guy came up to me and said, Ah, oh, Sissy, I'm Luke. I'm playing. <laughs> I was like, he was oh, back, way back at Slim. I'm, slim I'm playing, oh, buddy. About this big. But, and I remember thinking, well, they must have they must have cast it locally. Well, he's all grown up. <laughs> he's all grown up. <laughs> well, his accent was so... <laughs> Authentic. It's, 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 it's unlike He's any action. He's amazing. His mother cannot him. understand. What? His, His mother can't understand. understand. And when they did, and when they did Sling Play, uh, the, the, the guy who worked on it told me that like, in between takes, he'd be over catching catfish one in a very country kind of way, almost like He's noodling them, you know. He's, a, He's, a He's real got a deal. great sense of humor, too. He's a real deal. He was able to handle you and you. Thanks a that lot for tough. all y'all's time and everything. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.